Hello, my name is Chris Eiler. I am the CEO of EnergyLink, and today we're at a customer's new construction build where they've chosen to work with us on a geothermal heat pump. Uh, we install Care Heat Pump model, and it's a very efficient system. This video is going to uh, give you a quick rundown of what a heat pump is, how it works, uh, the two variations of heat pumps, and the advantages of choosing to go with a heat pump. Uh, so, um, a heat pump, the general concept, takes uh, it exchanges hot and cold temperatures using just a little bit of electricity. So before you start burning fossil fuel or uh, kicking in condensers or compressors to create cold air, uh, it's just going to exchange the hot and the cold. Uh, there's two types, air source heat pump and geothermal heat pump. Uh, an air source heat pump is, is just a standard outside AC system that also has a heat pump built into it. Uh, that system exchanges the hot air out of the cold, the cold air out of the hot, and switches them. It's very similar to your refrigerator at home. If you put your hand behind it, it's warm. It's just pulling the hot air out of the cold, the colder out of the hot, and what you what you end up with is the cold interior fridge because it's insulated. Now, um, this system is a geothermal system, geothermal heat pump. It's also known as a ground source heat pump, and it is taking advantage of the Earth's core temperature at 55 degrees to aid in that temperature change, that exchange in temperature. So we've got a glycol solution that's going to flow through the geo geothermal system, pick up the hot air from the inside, in this case it's the summer, so the hot air from the inside, run it outside into the ground where the ground does the work of removing that temperature from the piping. Uh, when it comes back to the system it's nice and cool, 55 degrees, and the system continues with the exchange. Uh, what they gain is actually tapping into the Earth's core, a renewable system that uh, it's going to save this homeowner about 60% of their utility bill. And it's uh, truly the best way to tap into renewable resources here in Missouri. So let's, uh, let's go outside and take a look at the drill as it's putting, in, putting the holes in the ground. And we can give you a little bit more information about uh, how the drilling process can, be, uh, can transition to your job site, your home, or your farm. So we're outside, and behind me you can see the drill running. Uh, this is a vertical drill. Now it's just the same thing as any other well drill that you have you know, drilled out on a farm or in a, in a rural setting where you need water. Uh, we're going to put tubes down in the earth that go down, loop back up, little ground loops, and we're going to fill it back in. Uh, and we're going to use a concrete compound that's uh, going to seep around that and really conduct the earth's temperature into, those, into that tubing. Uh, this house is going to have eight holes drilled, and uh, each of those is going to work independently for each of the system. Uh, there are other options for your ground source heat pump loops. Uh, you can go with a vertical loop, which will be dug with an excavator. You know, they're 100 to 200 feet long, and you grab seat back over top of it. There's also a lake loop, so if you have a lake nearby, you can run off the lake temperature. Uh, all those need to be engineered and specified for the load of the house and how many BTUs you're looking to transmit to the earth. Uh, it's going to take them about two days to drill. We'll hook up the system, and uh, this customer is going to be making some cold air for this summer uh, by Friday. So, if you have any questions or you'd like to learn more, check out our website at www.goenergylink.com. And again, thanks for stopping by.